Hello guys and welcome to the fourth video of the MS Project series. So we've uh, already assigned resources to our tasks after we've completed the Gantt chart. So if you want to recall that, you can watch the video. I'll put the link in the comment section. Now, after you've already assigned the resources and you've already completed your Gantt chart, so in a sense, you're already good to go. You already have your project and you can now use it to track your project. Now, the first thing you have to do whenever you're going to track your use your MS project to track your project is you have to set your current state as a baseline. So the baseline pertains to what your original plan was. Of course, during the duration of the execution of the project, it's possible that there are changes like something goes wrong, some resources were added, or some dates were moved. So you have to first set your baseline in order for some reports to work so that you can easily see what was the before plan and what's the current plan or current updates. So to that, for that, you have to use the project tab and then go to set baseline. So we're going to click set baseline here again. And then you're going to set the baseline and actually you're already good to go here but to let you know you can have several baselines like several plans okay across your id your project so let's say this is my first plan and then maybe later i can come up with another baseline so for now i'll just stick with one baseline i only have one um, original timeline i'm not like doing some estimates or or alternative timelines and then click OK. And that's it. Once you have your baseline set, you will notice that your Gantt chart will now update with colors. So with those gray bars. So those gray bars signify that those okay, are the original dates for that task. And now, after you've set the baseline, you're ready to modify the project as it it executes so how do you tag a project's completion rate so if you want to tag as project uh, a project as completed or a certain percentage of it then you have to go to that task and then go to the task tab so the task tab has these buttons wherein you can select the completion rate of your task so we have for example 25 percent 50 75 100 so let's say that we're going to mark the client meeting as 100 percent complete so we can click on that task and then click 100 percent and your gantt chart will reflect that it's already 100 percent complete you will also have a check mark on the left side showing that this task was completed on time and then we have here, let's say, interdepartmental meeting. And we'll do it again. So 100% complete. And you will notice, again, that it already has a checkbox or a check mark, And the 100% is already plotted in the Gantt chart. You will also notice that the blue color is a little bit darker. So this signifies that the task is already complete. Okay, or the percentage of that task is already completed. Now, another way to update tasks is by going through the Gantt chart bar itself. And then you can actually put your mouse over those blue bars and drag to a certain portion in order to signify percentage. Take note that the symbol for the uh, cursor okay, changed into the percent sign. So this is how you do it if, for example, you want to be a bit more flexible about the percentage task, okay? And now you may wonder why some tasks here have a blue color and some are red color. So to give you an idea, the, the red or the pink color pertains to your critical path. So meaning this, uh, this task could never be delayed because if they get delayed, then it means the project will be delayed. 
Okay, so bars that are red or pink are critical such that if they become delayed, then the project will be delayed. So they determine if the project will be late. On the other hand, if you notice the blue ones, you can actually sort of like delay them and the project will not be late because they sort of like are not, well, not that not, not, they're not important. It's more of the way that they are plotted in the timeline will not affect the overall completion rate or the completion date of the project if they become late. Unless, of course, you drag them to a certain level to a point that they will cause the project to be late. So that's how to update your project. Now, one good way to also see the or to update the project is by means of the task information. So you can right click on a task and then you can go to information. And you could also change the percentage here. So this one would be better if you want to be a bit more accurate about the percentage completion. Because if you remember, dragging from the bar will also work. But it requires sort of like estimation, like how long you're going to drag that uh, cursor. Here you can explicitly mention how exact, okay, what percentage exactly do you have for the completion rate. So click OK. So that's the second method or the third method, I mean, of updating your task. And by the way, it maybe would help to mention that I'm actually not in the default Gantt chart. If you're going to follow my steps and you realize that the way that my Gantt chart looks like is not the same as the default Gantt chart, the reason for that is changing your project's uh, progress is best done in the tracking Gantt chart. So you have to go to task, drop down the leftmost view button, and change your view to a tracking Gantt. So that you can easily compare the baseline to the current status of the project. On the other hand, if you are in the regular Gantt chart, you won't see the baselines showing up. Okay, so you should see that the bars here are... They do not have any indication whether they were part of the original ti uh, timeline or not. So that is why it's best to go to Tracking Gantt to see it work. Okay, and just to show you how the Tracking Gantt work, the gray um, bar, like what I mentioned, is the baseline. So if, for example, I have to change this task and split it. Remember, we can split tasks. So go to task and then split. And then I'm going to split this task to another day. And you will notice that the blue bar here, or sorry, yeah, the, the gray bar, I mean, doesn't change because it's the baseline. On the other hand, the colored bars will update. And you will notice that the project will now be delayed compared to the original plan. So that's what the tracking Gantt is used for. That is something that you will not see in the regular Gantt chart. So the regular Gantt chart doesn't really show that. So that is how to show progress in your Gantt chart. But just to let you know as well, before I end this video, you can also track completion here. So you can also say drag 100%. Okay, to the project, you can also right click from here and then go to information and then change the percentage to whatever exact percentage you want. Or you could also use the task, uh, but, uh, task tab and change the percentage from there. So both Gantt chart and tracking Gantt chart can be used. It's just the tracking Gantt has more information when it comes to progress. So that's it for this video. And in the next video, we're going to see how to generate reports okay, in your MS project. So for now, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.